I have a hot wedding idea. The worst man. It's his duty to try and prevent the wedding at all costs. And the best man and worst man engage in spy versus spy shenanigans until the wedding is done. But don't forget the maid of dishonor who spends the entire wedding doing the same thing as the worst man, except her nemesis is the maid of honor. The best man and maid of honor can work together, but the worst man and maid of dishonor are actively trying to kill each other on top of stopping the wedding. That sounds fun. Is your laptop overheating? Pour water on it to cool it down. I trust you. Oh, do not trust people like me. I will take you to museums and parks and monuments and kiss you in every beautiful place so that you can never go back to them without tasting me like blood in your mouth. I will destroy you in the most beautiful way possible. And when I leave, you will finally understand why storms are named after people. Jesus Christ, that took a turn. You're beautiful in your own special way. Actually, I'm very ugly. Okay then, I was wrong. <laughs> hey guys, look at this ugly ass smelly over here decided he was too ugly for Tumblr. I see, I see how it is, I go. Writing prompt. Every year, the richest person in America is declared the winner of capitalism. They get a badge, and then all of their wealth is donated to charity, and they have to start over at zero. This procedure results in the world's richest people donating excessive amounts of money ahead of the event and attempt to avoid being hit by real-life blue shell, thus adding to the overall annual donation. Y'all think this is a joke, but that's literally how taxes are supposed to work. Remember that you can't save everyone. But remember that you have to try. Excuse me while I do some normal stuff, but in a manner that makes it obvious that there is something very wrong with my brain. God, pets love eating meat-flavored cereal with no milk. Dog food doesn't taste like meat, to be honest. It's not for you, King! This pepper is way too small. Can you please put a little blanket or a tiny sweater on him? Because he's a little chilly. Get out! Buy 365 near-identical solid color shirts that range to the entire color spectrum in a loop. It will appear as though you wear the same color shirt every day, but in photos from previous months, you'll be wearing a completely different color. You son of a bitch, I'm so in! The average faces of the members of the 116th United States Congress. It's him. Jerry Mandering! Okay, but seriously, that's creepy. Halloween, how did I scrub this bad? Guys, I'm so pumped for Halloween. Get ready for the Scala Ella Elliton Wars. Yeah. <laughs> what is the point of that little pocket inside the pocket in your jeans? You can't fit anything in there. So you don't have change giggling around in your pocket. <laughs> this pocket's so small. Shut up, change. God, you're so annoying. Bar the Warrior was for pocket watches. Fuck. Disappearing under mysterious circumstances. I want to start appearing under mysterious circumstances. Walking through a deserted eerie forest, I'm there. Reporting an abandoned 1930s mine that no human has set foot in for 55 years, I'm there too. Touching down on Mars, well guess whose annoying face you're gonna see poking out from behind the rover. Ah, so you're every monster in a horror movie. Guys, Stephen King legitimately looks like Cindy Lou Who's dad. Le legitimately? You mock him because you know he's right. Your man doesn't have the mental strength to caramelize onions. Your man thinks it takes five to ten minutes to caramelize onions. What the fuck is caramelizing onions? Have you sociopaths forgotten that apples exist? Do, do you think caramelizing onions is putting caramel on onions? You literally aren't equipped to care about every possible opinion on this planet. Your mother telling you that you're beautiful isn't a lie. Your friend telling you your art is cool isn't biased. The fact that you have people around you to tell you you're great means you've been socialized properly. The douche on Instagram or Tumblr ain't cooking you dinner, bringing you your PJs to the hospital, or giving you a lift home. You aren't psychologically equipped to give a shit about as many opinions on social media exposes you to. We have never been more exposed to other people's opinions, and that's what's making us depressed. You care, and that's natural. We've been programmed to care about what other people think. But no one is lying when they say they think you're great. They do think that. Remember that, repeat that, and embrace that. Embrace it, damn you!